Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> I'm going to share with you the email that I recently got from our sister who sent me the information that I used to make my last video where I put a disclaimer that the woman who put out the information about the mycoplasma and then the George Floyd video, um, she's not, we're not on the same page spiritually, all right? A lot of people are not on the same page with us spiritually, but it doesn't mean that all their information is false. You just have to use discernment when she's speaking of something spiritual. Disregard that. All right? If she says, I got some information from Creator, blah, 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 blah. Use discernment. Because she's not, if she's not for God, she's for who? You see what I'm saying? All right. Now, this is a warning. I'm going to go ahead and read it. I got it from our sister in Christ. Um, and she she gives me a link to the Nestle brands that you're going to want to know about. Because this is something uh, I don't know if she got it from the same woman, but I think so. I'll read it. Let me read this to you. She said, here's a link. To see what to avoid after 9-4, September 4th. Because contaminated products will be in the stores by 9-7. She only mentioned Hot Pockets. She, she's referring to the lady, uh... What was her name? Oh, Linda Emanuel. Okay. She only mentioned Hot Pockets, Stouffer's Lean Cuisine, and DiGiorno and Jack's Pizzas. But I would avoid all Nestle frozen products, even creamers and other Nestle products. It turns out Nestle owns a lot of grocery product production companies. If you look on the box or the container, it will say the Nestle name. All right, this could be how they cause illness peppered all over towns without anyone tracing it back to a certain food It'll be brucellosis bacteria. Does that name ring a bell? That the two men brought over during Operation Paperclip took the brucellosis bacteria, combined it with the Visna virus to make mycoplasma fermentans. The video I made and put up an hour and a half or so ago, was how you can get treatment for the mycoplasma with hydrogen peroxide IV, which I had a half a dose of. And then if I tolerated that okay, I was going to get a full dose the next time. But I didn't get to go back. Okay, so moving on with this. She says it'll be brucellosis bacteria, but blamed on COVID. If it is true, now, felt I should warn just in case it is. She's saying that because I replied to her and said in the second podcast, hey, don't be chewing up my blanket. If you want to chew up a blanket, you get your blanket out of that toy thing and you chew up your own blanket. 
Don't chew up that nice blanket. All right, sorry. It's like having a toddler around, but it's all right. He's so much fun. All right, we just got to keep on training him, don't we, until we go to heaven. Yeah, I keep telling him how he's going to meet Buddy and how he's going to have fun playing with Buddy. Yeah, and my kitties and Portia. Yeah, yes, you will. <laughs> okay, let me get back to this. All right. Now, those podcasts I shared by Linda Emanuel that I was finally able to listen to today. Oh, she didn't read my email yet. Listen to this. You might not want to listen because she's getting the info from an entity or angel spirit she says named mosh didn't come up until about my sixth podcast but can warn in case it's true and it sounds like it is without listening to them here's what i got that could be very important We'll we'll make list below, so pray about it. It can't hurt to be ready and know when the, quote, second wave, unquote, hits your city. It's begun mostly larger cities. They will lock them down, and then 5G will be stepped up in increments, Slowly turned up, starting October 28th, which we will not be here unless it's in our glorified bodies, helping the left behind be ready for the wheat harvest. Keep that in mind. We are there. I do not believe we will be here in this body by October 28th. All right. Starting October 28th until 60 gigahertz, which will leave no oxygen or life over months. They are called kill zones. The only way to stop the ever-rising 5G scaling up, which starts October 28th, with weeks at each upswing, is to turn off your main breaker because it goes housewide and through all walls because 60 gigahertz I believe is when houses will blow up and burn down like in California and other places now I'm just reading you this as a warning for you to keep in mind and pray about okay because she does a lot of research okay and when she's emailing me she doesn't tell me all the things that she has read all the websites all the links I don't get all that I'm just telling you what she is sharing with me based on what she has learned Okay? Or what the Lord has showed her. All right. So, uh, because 60 gigahertz, I believe, is when houses will blow up and burn down. Like in California and other places. The ones that didn't blow up or burn down did not have smart meters or, she puts in parentheses, were people who love the Lord praying? Close parentheses. I wonder, since I refused smart meters, if the new analog meter they put on isn't equipped in some new way to still flood the house with the oxygen-depleting 
60 gigahertz. Can't know. So that is why smart meters have no surge protection like they are required to by law and are rated far above the legal power level. She says in parentheses, it's totally illegal. So if you could get the right kind of lawyer, you might be able to fight getting your smart meter taken off. Or an electrician that knows how. I don't know about that. All right, she says that she, through the, through the podcast, she learned November 4th, plan to stop trucking the plan is to stop trucking so stores will empty and no more delivered. See, that that's going to be a planned famine. On October 15th, cutting off phone and internet. She said, those who survive starvation and 5G being locked down in cities and then be taken to FEMA camps. Okay, enough to take in. I will share the world map of 5G, which should help know where the worst places are. She said people in high rises will have no chance to survive unless everyone shut off all the breakers. For power and I know no one would agree to that not believe in it keep in mind her source of information not my sister not our sisters she is telling us what that woman what's her name again Linda Emanuel said I'm telling you this to keep it in the back of your mind so you can prepare. Why not be prepared? And if the devil is lying through one of his demons to her, this person, this entity named Mosh, and this is not going to happen, we know Dana Coverstone has prophesied through his dreams about September, October, and November other people's dreams or visions or words have confirmed them. So hers is just confirming it also in a different way. A famine, uh, shutdowns, people locked down in their homes, starvation, so, just be aware her source is not where we want our source to come from. All right, so you take it with a grain of salt and pray for confirmation from the Lord. All right, this is almost done. She says, um, unless everyone shut off all the breakers for power. Now, yeah, in a high-rise apartment building, someplace like this, are you kidding me? There's no way they would believe me. But I'm not going to be here in this body. If I'm here, it'll be in my glorified body telling all these people they better shut down the power or something. And I know no one would agree to that not believing it. Exactly. Okay, I guess... The most important is to not get Nestle products after September 4th and see if by the 7th on people are getting sick. You'll know why and warn friends and family about those products and we'll be praying for all. Love, and she puts her name. All right. So, 
when you click on this link up here, Nestle.com Brands Culinary Chilled or Frozen, you get, listen to this bunch of places, if you don't know already. Nestle, good food, good life. Magi or Magi, M-A-G-G-I, Hot Pockets, Stouffer's, my favorite frozen dinners are Stouffer's. I got three in the freezer I bought three months ago. I don't know why, I guess I got them because they were on sale maybe two months ago. There's a few in my freezer, I just haven't wanted them. Anyway, Stouffer's is one. Tommy, or T-H-O-M-Y. I never heard of that one. Okay, Jack's. That means they own Jack's Restaurants. Tombstone. That is a frozen pizza. Herta. I don't, never heard of Herta. H-E-R-T-A. This is... Bui Tony, Bui, Bui, Bui Tony, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Italian, a green oval with red letters that say B-U-I-T-O-N-I, uh, I don't know, I never heard of that one, alright, then DiGiorno's, that's the frozen pizza company, and Lean Cuisine, that's another one I have a few of in my freezer. But they're older. They were put out long before September 4th. And that, and then Nestle, she, she doesn't have the capturing the instant. They have Starbucks, instant products. Something about planting trees. Look, they have coffee creamers, coffee. This is culinary chilled and frozen food. Frozen food. Our stories about us. Innovation. Ask Nestle. You know they have all that chocolate stuff. brands they have uh, all kind of coffee creamers Gerber Gerber El Pegrino what is that bottled water yeah there's several they have several bottled waters cereals Culinary Chilled and Frozen. Okay, I read that one. Coffee. Yeah, they have coffee. The, the instant coffees are theirs. Chocolate and Confectionery. You can click on these. Food Service. Drinks. Dairy. Healthcare and Nutrition. Ice Cream. And Pet Care. I am so glad that Jesus is coming back, aren't you all? Look, this is getting way too long. How does that do that? My computer lid must just slowly let itself down. Anyway, I'm just so glad that Jesus is coming back soon. Because if he weren't, if he didn't shorten the time, no flesh would be left alive. These people are so evil. They're going to put brucellosis bacteria in the food? See, bacteria is worse than viruses. That's what will make you sick in a heartbeat. Anyway, we keep on our armor. We plead the blood of Jesus. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. 
we pray over our food. So in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. If you pray over your food and you mean it, you don't have just some little rote memory thing. My father-in-law, every time we went to their place, they said the same little memorized I can't even tell you now what it was. But I was like, I wonder if they really mean that. And as Catholics, we did the same thing. Blessed, O oh Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. That's what I can remember that. Because we said it every night for dinner for all my growing up years till I was 17. And that doesn't even say purify this food, O oh Lord. Bless this food. Bless it. What did I say? Bless it, O oh Lord, art thou our God. Creator of heaven and earth. Blessed the Lord. Now I don't remember it. Oh, that is frustrating. Anyway, it doesn't really bless. It doesn't ask God to bless and purify the food. That's what you're doing when you pray over your food. God will bless it and purify it. For the safe consumption into your body however you want to word it just say it and mean it because you you don't know you could pick up uh, some cans of soup that you don't realize are under them that could be tainted so get in the habit, if you're not already, you get in the habit of praying over everything you eat and drink. Your juices too, coffees, everything. Okay, let us do that. If nothing else, you do that. And the Lord will preserve what you eat and make it safe for your body. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, myself, my computer, over each and every single one of you and your devices and your internet connections as well. So with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.